What's up guys, I reviewed a lot of microphones and most recently I've been a big fan of UHF type microphones only because the 2.4 gigahertz wireless microphones I've used interfere a lot with my wireless router and Bluetooth devices that I have set up around the house and in the room itself. So UHF has been really great at giving me interference free audio from all of my microphones. This is the newer 57 channel UHF wireless microphone kit. Now, I'm a huge fan of newer as well. I've got products from them ranging from tripods to camera equipment to smartphone accessories, a whole bunch of things. And they're really good quality products. And I'm super excited to try one of their first, you know, wireless microphone systems that I've seen by newer, which is this one here. So I'm gonna unbox this, test it out, give you guys an audio test to see how it compares with my shotgun microphone that is just out of view on the camera. It's just above my head here. That's connected to an audio recorder, so that would give me the best audio quality. But from a wireless microphone system point of view, let's go ahead, see how it sounds. Let's go ahead and open the packaging. So you have this carry pouch for the microphones inside the pouch. You have yourself a lanyard strap so you can actually wear this around your neck. Some warranty information, user manual, quick start guides, customer service, a lot of paperwork here just to give you an indication of what the cables are, how to set it up, how to use the antennas. I've reviewed a very similar UHF microphone like this in the past. It's a Feidu FM40. And I'll leave a link in the description if you wanted to check that out. It's pretty much exactly the same design. Now these are very compact and the one thing I really like about it is that it does have digital displays on both of them. There is a lot of microphones out there that has a digital display only on the receiver and not the transmitter. So that's very convenient to have. So on one side you have the plus and minus for the gain. On the other side you have the power button and a USB-C charging port. Belt clips at the back. On the transmitter at the top you have yourself the microphone input there. Then you have a line in import there as well. On the receiver, you have the headphone jack there so you can monitor the audio. Then you also have the output port there for connecting this to your camera or your smartphone. So let's see the cable. So you can see right at the bottom, you've got plenty of cable options. Of course, this comes with a lavalier microphone. So I'll be testing this both with the lav mic and also with the internal mic on the transmitter. You also have couple of cables here. You've got a TRS to TRS for the camera and a TRRS to TRS for your smartphones. USB charging cables for each of the devices here. So one for the transmitter, one for the receiver. Now, just before we run into some of the audio tests, a quick run through of the key specifications on this. The sensitivity on these are about minus 33 decibels. The operating range is goes up to a maximum around 80 meters, which I think is absolutely great. You may not even get any scenarios where you might have to use it at that range, but it's great to know that it can go very long distance. The receiver has a battery life of around five hours and the transmitter about three and a half hours. So not the longest of battery lives, but I think it's enough to get at least one of your video shoots completed and have everything you need. It's capable to monitor the battery lives on the digital display, so that's very convenient. And I believe you can also charge them at the same time when you're recording, so you can extend the battery life of whenever you're doing your filming. And lastly, they do have 57 channels that you can switch between to get the best interference-free audio coming through. So pretty much guaranteed that you're not gonna get any disturbance from all of your wireless or Bluetooth-enabled equipment operating in the 2.4 gigahertz spectrum. Now, the other thing is around these antennas. So, so you have one antenna here on the transmitter. So just at the top, one end is fixed, one end is free, you can pull it out. And pretty much you can bend this towards the direction of the receiver to enhance the signal if you are operating at long distances, or you can leave it in and if you are operating at real close proximity, then you'll still get a very good signal. For the receiver, there's two antennas here to just give you that full boost of signal strength. So you can point both of them out, you can point them in different directions like so. So plenty of different ways that you can play around with this. So I think that's just absolutely great. This is one thing I really like about these set of wireless microphones. The back, not only do they have a belt clip or a cold shoe mount, 
they're actually magnetic as well so you can actually put them onto metal services or if you've got some tripod that you want to connect to rather than putting it on top of the cold shoe mount on your camera this is going to work great if you have an iphone 12 pro because we all know there's a magnetic back to them um, utilizing the magsafe technology if you're using this with your phone and you have an iphone 12 pro like i do you can just simply place it onto the back of your phone and use the magnet as the holder so you need to find the right position there you go it's not super strong so it can easily fall off but if you don't have any smartphone mount which has a cold shoe connector on the top this might be a very convenient way so i can just connect the trs cable to this receiver connect it to my phone and use this as my setup for filming so i think that's really great now that i've run through all of the different specs on this let me go ahead and switch the audio from using my sennheiser shotgun microphone that's just out of view on the camera to using the newer 57 channel uhf microphone just for comparison, this is the audio coming directly from my camera, the Sony a7 III, without any microphones attached to it. So if you don't have any microphones, this is what you can expect the audio quality to be like if you're about a meter away from your camera. Now let me go ahead and connect this and see the quality coming from the internal microphone of this new uh, microphone. This is now the audio coming directly from the internal mic on the transmitter here. I've clipped it to the top of my shirt. It's not too heavy and it is quite compact and lightweight, which I think is really great. And this really competes with the top end brands like Rode Wireless Go and anyone similar to that. So what I also want to do is now use the lavalier microphone that comes in the box with this and connect that to see if there's any difference in the audio quality. So now this is a test using the lavalier microphone that I've clipped to my shirt. It's so much lighter and I'm a bigger fan of using lav mics rather than the internal mics on the microphone kit sets that I've used in the past. So let me know what you guys think of the audio review down below. I've played it back as well, and it's so much better and clearer than the 2.4 gigahertz wireless microphones that I've used in the past. They're very much tailored for giving you best quality audio because of the frequency they operate at. In my studio here, I have a lot of wireless connectivity going on and there is a lot of interference. So UHF microphones for me is the way to go, especially in my filming environments. So it all depends on what you guys prefer. Let me know what you guys think down below as well. Now these come in at around £79 on Amazon. I'll have a link in the description below where you guys can check it out. It's really good. I'm so happy with it. If you did like this video, you do like camera accessory or wireless microphone reviews, I'm going to have plenty more coming up in the near future. And I do weekly tech videos as well, which I know you're going to like. So make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss those videos. Like this video and I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.